If you're wondering how many PRP treatments you actually need for your knee arthritis, you're not alone. Let's clear up the confusion and get to what the science really says. Hello, this is Dr. Siddharth Damber from Chicago Arthritis and Rajar Medicine. I specialize in non-surgical treatments for musculoskeletal conditions, rheumatology, Rajar Medicine, and metabolic health. My goal is to help you live pain-free and optimize your health with cutting-edge treatments. PRP, or platelet-rich plasma, is one of the most talked about treatments for knee arthritis. But one of the most common questions I get is, how many PRP treatments do I actually need? You may have heard about doing three weekly injections, or you may have read that one treatment is enough. So which is it? In this video, I'll explain why the number of treatments can vary, the science behind PRP dosing, what I recommend in my own practice for my patients, and how long you can expect relief to last. Let's dive in and make this easy to understand. PRP stands for platelet-rich plasma. It's a treatment made from your own blood. We spin it in a special machine to concentrate the platelets. Those are the cells that help with healing. Why does this help with arthritis? Because platelets release growth factors. These are proteins that reduce inflammation and promote tissue repair by stimulating your local stem cells. In knee osteoarthritis, the joint is chronically inflamed and the cartilage is wearing down. PRP can help by calming that inflammation down and improving the health of the tissues in the joint as well. In addition, by strengthening the surrounding soft tissue structures around the joint, PRP can make the joint more functional and feel more stable as well. But not all PRP is created equal. Here's a key point most people don't know. The concentration of PRP matters. Some clinics do three PRP treatments in a row, once a week for three weeks. What you're usually getting in those cases is a very low dose PRP, a lower concentration of platelets. In reality, if you were getting a higher dose of PRP, doing it weekly would be too inflammatory. The idea when you're getting a low dose PRP treatment is that multiple treatments might add up to something stronger. But research shows us now something different. It shows us that a higher dose of PRP, even in a single injection, performs better for moderate knee arthritis. So when we talk about how many treatments you need, we have to first talk about the quality and strength of the PRP being used. In my clinic, I utilize a high concentration of PRP for my patients. It's more potent and designed to give better, longer, stronger results with fewer treatments. Here's what I generally recommend. Start with one PRP injection. Because we use a higher dose, you don't need to do three injections right away. Then we watch and wait. Here's what to expect. Gradual improvement starting at the one month mark, improving over the next six months. This isn't a quick fix. It's a slow, steady healing process. But why wait so long? Because PRP doesn't just mask the pain. It's working to change the environment in the joint. That takes time. In fact, the evidence shows that the effectiveness of PRP starts to more significantly occur once you're past the three-month mark. So if one treatment starts helping over a few months, what happens next? On average, for moderate knee osteoarthritis, most patients will need up to two PRP treatments in one year. That's it. And with those one to two treatments, people will get relief that lasts two to three years. The way that I generally guide people is get treatment on day one. Let's see how you do for the next three to six months. If you're still doing well and trending upwards, then we continue to watch. At some point, when you start to plateau in terms of your result, if you're not at your goal in terms of pain or functional relief, then let's talk about doing a second treatment at that time. Now, if you have more severe arthritis, you might need repeat treatment sooner. You may even need to bump up to a stronger treatment like utilizing your own bone marrow stem cells. But if your symptoms are milder or your arthritis is milder, one treatment might even last longer and you may only need one treatment. But the goal is always use the best quality treatment and use the least number of treatments as needed at the right dose to get the best result. Let's clear up a few myths about PRP treatment for the knees. Myth number one, PRP is just like a steroid injection. Absolutely not. Steroid injections reduce inflammation short term but they can also break down cartilage over time. PRP, on the other hand, supports healing and doesn't damage the tissue. 
Moreover, while a steroid injection will help you for a few weeks to a few months on average, PRP treatment will, gen will generally help on average for two years. Misconception number two, I need three weekly injections to get the best results. Not true. You only need three treatments if you're getting a low dose PRP. With a higher quality, higher dose PRP, you generally only need one injection to start. Another misperception, if I don't feel better within a week or two, the PRP did not work. Absolutely not. Using a higher dose of PRP, the improvement takes time. Expect a gradual improvement over months, not days. I guide most patients telling them that improvement starts at the one month mark and continues for the next six to nine months. Personalized care matters. Every patient is different. And when deciding on PRP treatment, I look at the following. What's the severity of your knee arthritis, your activity level, how long you've had symptoms, what are the treatments you've tried, and also what's your goal of treatment as well. That's why I will always say that PRP is not a one size fits all treatment. But for many people, a high dose PRP treatment given once or twice per year can significantly improve quality of life over the next few years. To get the most from PRP treatment, it helps to combine it with the following. A good exercise and physical therapy program to strengthen the muscles. Weight loss if needed to reduce joint pressure as well. Supplements like omega-3s or turmeric to help with inflammation an anti-inflammatory nutrition diet, including whole foods and fewer processed items. PRP is not magic, but when paired with healthy habits, it can make a big impact. The other big variable in a successful PRP treatment is the actual physician doing the treatment. If your physician is recommending a low-dose PRP treatment given weekly, they're not giving you the best treatment option for your knee. That's possibly, possibly because they themselves are not actually an expert in this treatment modality. Also, if they are only injecting into the joint and not treating the surrounding soft tissue structures, which is called prolotherapy, then they're not maximizing the potential of your treatment either. Your physician needs to be an expert at this treatment if they are treating you. Most, unfortunately, are not. So let's wrap this up. You do not need three weekly PRP injections if you're using a high concentration, high quality type of PRP. One injection can lead to improvement over six to nine months. On average, two treatments per year will help most people with moderate knee osteoarthritis, and relief can last two to three years, depending on the person. Personalized care and healthy habits matter here as well. And of course, your physician must be an expert at this if they are treating you. PRP can be a powerful tool when used the right way. If you found this helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and check out our website at chicagoarthritis.com for more expert advice on staying pain-free and healthy. You can also book a consultation directly if you're ready to explore PRP or other non-surgical options. Thank you for watching. See you next time and live well.